We have the full pink moon at four degrees of Scorpio, happening on April 23rd at 4.48 p.m. Pacific, which is 7.48 Eastern. Check your local time to see when this lunar event is occurring for you. Welcome to the second full moon of spring. And because of the month we're in, this happens to be a pink moon. April's full moon got its name due to the association with spring. And for some of the most obvious reasons, it's associated with the colors that are going on in spring. Spring is a time where we're noticing that things are starting to blossom. And so through the observation of ancient and native tribes, this moon got its name. Spiritually, this could be a time where we're noticing that things are on an upswing if we've been in a stagnant period. So this could bring in new optimism and hope, allowing us to feel reinvigorated and getting back on track with things that we're wanting to start. So it could be a new period of getting back to something that you put on hold or just initiate something new overall. So this could be a really invigorating and encouraging time of new adventures and finally getting things moving in your life. And it's funny saying those words, and this is a Scorpio full moon, usually you don't associate Scorpio with enthusiasm and things like that, but this happens to be one of those things where we might end up taking control of something and feeling more encouraged than typical under this energy. Transit-wise, this moon is mixed bag. It definitely has some harsh energies but it also has some harmonious and really fortunate energies occurring during this time and the cool thing about that the vibes on the graph are 100% reflective of course we do have some emotional sensitivity that's occurring by the time we get to 24th and I'm looking at the 24th because I always like to go 48 hours after that full moon or if it's a new moon as well there's also a smidge of solitude energy intersecting that however there's mental energy romantic vibes and a ton of good luck energy overall so with this type of mixture we may be in the mood to empower ourselves we may feel like we've got that extra push needed to do what's necessary in order to transform our circumstances so whatever is occurring during this lunar event we could really find ourselves finding a strategy that helps us get back on track but now that we're here at the peak of this lunar cycle, think back to what you were trying to start six months ago regarding Scorpio energy. What kind of empowerment journey were you creating for yourself around November 13th of 2023? Was this a period where you were realizing it was time to break old habits and patterns or any behavior that was keeping you in low vibrational energy? Was this a period where you were realizing that maybe you needed to relinquish control in situations that were no longer serving you and holding you back? Or it could have been a period where you're realizing that you needed to gain control back in a situation where you might have lost yourself and where you might have needed to step back in your personal power. Was this a period where you were taking a deep inventory of the relationships that you have in your life? Scorpio is about our serious relationships. It is about the relationships where we meld with someone else. It's about the relationships that go beneath the surface. And so a situation like this could have had us looking at whether or not something that we were in is surface level, or if we have an unhealthy attachment to someone, or in a lot of cases, losing our power in those relationships. And in a lot of ways, it could have had us examining our attachment styles when we do get into relationships so we can work on that and maybe heal the things that are unconstructive for us. Sometimes some of this could have surfaced as working on trust issues or having too much of a wall up when it comes down to relationships or a repeated cycle of makeups and breakups within a specific union. Coming back to trust issues, this might have been a time where you might have had to work on trust issues outside of just relationships. Maybe it's trust issues with yourself. This could have been a period of learning how to having more confidence within yourself on various levels. And for this reason, that might have been a time to work on certain coping skills that might have been undermining your confidence and your trust within yourself, or maybe beginning the process of coaching or therapy for unresolved emotions, especially anything that might have been repressed that was coming up to the surface at that point in time. So this could have also manifested as a time to reconnect with yourself and get back in touch with your emotions and your psyche as well. Was this a period where light might have been shed on something that was mysterious to you. Scorpio energy provides us with moments of clarity about something, especially if we've been in the dark about something. This does go back to the repressed things that might have been held in, held within you. 
but it could have been other things as well that was complex and maybe eluded for some reason. Something like this could really help us in terms of becoming more observant if we've been the type to skim things and not look at situations, details, or other scenarios for what they are. Of course, this could be good, bad, or indifferent, but in this energy, it's mostly for empowerment reasons. Another way this scorpionic energy could have showed up for you, was this a time where you were emerging from a situation that derailed you, and so now you're at a period where you're feeling stronger, you're feeling feeling more in control and you're just ready to come back swinging. With that, this could have also been a period of deep cleaning going on in your life. In other words, this could have been a period of detoxing things. This could have been a period of purging things out of your system. And whether that's situations that were unhealthy for you, maybe things that you were putting in your body that weren't good for you, working on connecting with your higher self and learning how to step into constructive vibrational energy. So it could have been a clearing of negativity and negative vibes, or it could have been just people, places, or things that just really needed to be purged out. So now that you're here, you're just realizing this was a time to truly detoxify all the things that were holding you back in your life life. This is why I say this energy is not associated with jolly things. Scorpio energy is intense. It causes us to look at harsh truths. It causes us to revise the things in our lives that are holding us back and connecting with a more evolved version of us. So this really might have been a period to transform all of your circumstances that were holding you back, draining your energy. That way you can transform, purify your circumstances, and regain control of your life overall. Let's look at these transits and see what we can expect from this lunar event. As a reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps this channel grow. And if you'd like to support the work of this channel, you could do so by buying me a fresh cup of coffee. There's a link in the description box below. Kind of like what I was saying earlier, this moon is a mixed bag. We've got some harsh stuff, but we also have some harmonious alignments that are really going to help us push through. And with this energy, we have three chart rulers this time. This is because Scorpio has dual rulership with Mars, the ancient ruler, and Pluto, its modern planet. And of course, we always consider the other luminary included in this lunation, which is the sun, and the sun is currently in Taurus, Scorpio's opposite sign. So the depositor for the sun is Venus. Mars, the ancient ruler, is the one that's actually making Making all of the aspects and currently it's in multiple conjunctions. Mars is in a conjunction with Saturn and Neptune. It's starting to separate from that Saturn conjunction that it made a week ago and now it's coming up to a conjunction with Neptune. So it's in this weird in-between. However, this could be a period where we're starting something fresh. We're laying the groundwork for something. Maybe now that things are shifting, we kind of have a bit of clarity about what we want to do and also a good vision for where we want to start and what we want to initiate in our life. But Mars Mars is also connected to the other chart ruler, Venus, in an alignment that might be unconstructive when it comes down to our love life and finances. So this could rev up some extra drama when it comes down to romantic situations. Maybe we're starting to realize that there are just certain situations that have gotten out of hand when it comes down to romantic scenarios. Also, Venus, the other chart ruler, is connected to Neptune in a heart alignment as well. So this may lead to some sort of reality check when it comes down to relationships and financial matters. Continuing with the alignments that Venus is making, it's also connected to Uranus and Jupiter in a hard alignment as well. And for this reason, we'll need to be aware of doing things recklessly when it comes down to relationships, when it comes down to our finances. We need to be aware of being over the top. We need to be aware of overspending, overdoing it when it comes down to food, alcohol, stimulants, and anything like that, because that could really rev up that type of energy. During this time, the sun and moon are going to be in a square to Pluto, and with that, there may be an urge for an overhaul of sorts, especially when it comes down to certain circumstances regarding things that no longer suit our emotions or our ego needs. And so this could be through some of our relationships, this could be through some of the behavior that we might be doing that's unconstructive for us. So this may give us that extra push needed to transform the things that are in our way to advancement. And speaking of advancement, one of the saving graces during this lunar event is the fact that Mars is connected to Jupiter and Uranus in alignments that could really help us get ahead. We may feel like things are stressful during this lunar event, however, there's a ton of drive popping up around this, and so this may help us get that extra push we need to get things done, to solve things that seem too complex. So we can be having eureka moments during this time, we can be having major breakthroughs during this time about what to do about circumstances that may have seemed like they were in a rut for a while, or finally feel like we're starting to see opportunities coming for things that felt like they were not so much in the cards for us. So even though this lunar event has some harsh energies, we may have moments where we have 
opportunities. We may have moments where we have some luck on our side, but with this Mars connecting to Jupiter and Uranus like that, we'll have the extra motivation needed to push through any obstacles that do come our way. The signs most affected by this lunar event will be the fixed modality. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius between 0 and 14 degrees of these zodiac placements. So if you have planets and chart points in these signs, you'll feel this lunar event more so than others. Anyway, hope you all have the best full moon in Scorpio ever. Later and see you in the next episode.